permissible reasons for breaking the fast in Ramadan and paying back missed fasts. Permissible reasons for breaking the fast in Ramadan. Sickness, traveling, pregnancy and breastfeeding, menstrual and postpartum bleeding and sickness. It is permissible for the sick to break their fast in Ramadan. Allah Almighty says, But if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number of days should be made up from other days. The sickness that permits the breaking of the fast is the one that causes or leads to a more serious pain, if the sick were to fast. Breaking of the fast by the sick. If the sick breaks his fast, but the sickness is a form that recovery from it is expected, then it is mandatory on him to pay back the missed days. Allah Almighty says, But if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number of days should be made up after recovery from other days. If the sickness is however a form of such that recovery is not expected, for instance, a terminal disease or an old man or woman that is permanently incapable of fasting, then such should feed one poor person for every day missed, with half a sa' that is two handfuls or 1,125 grams of rice, or any other common food in the community. Travelling It is permissible for a traveller in the month of Ramadan to break his fast, and it is compulsory on him to pay back the missed days. Allah Almighty says, but if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number of days should be made up from other days. The same distance that permits al-qasr, reduction of number of prostrations in prayers, that is salah, also permits the breaking of fast, provided it is known as traveling according to the customs of the people, and it is a permissible form of traveling. If however it is a form of sinful traveling, or traveling done in order to be free from fasting, then it will be prohibited for him to break his fast. But if a traveller decides to fast, it will be valid. This is due to the hadith reported by Anas ibn Malik who said, We used to travel while fasting with the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him, and those of us who fasted neither abused nor looked down upon those who broke their fast. Nor did those who broke their fast look down upon those who fasted. However, this permission is upon the condition that fasting is not a burden on him or a cause of pain for him. If it is, then it will be better for him not to fast. This is because the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, on one of his journeys saw a man whose fasting had become burdensome upon him. That is, he had become severely weakened due to the severe heat, and as such people had gathered around him. Thereupon the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Fasting, while on a journey, is not part of righteousness. Pregnancy and breastfeeding A pregnant or breastfeeding female who fears there would be a burden on herself if she fasted may break her fast and she must pay it back just like the sick. The Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said, Allah Almighty has relieved the traveller of fasting and some parts of salah, meaning the daily prayers, and he relieved the pregnant and the breastfeeding woman of fasting. However, if she fears the burden on only her child or fetus, then she must pay the fast back and feed one poor person for every missed day. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, As for the pregnant and breastfeeding female, if they fear the burden of fasting on their children, then they must pay it back and feed the poor for every missed day. Menstrual and Postpartum Bleeding A woman who menstruates or is experiencing postnatal bleeding is obligated to break her fast, as it is prohibited for her to fast. If however she does fast, it will not be valid, and she will still have to pay back the fast of the period she missed. When Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, was asked why a menstruating woman pays back the missed fast, but not the missed prayers, she said, that is, postnatal and menstrual bleeding, used to befall us, and we were ordered to pay back missed fasts, but not missed salah or prayers. Paying back missed fasts. If a Muslim misses a day of fasting in Ramadan without any valid excuse, he must repent to Allah and seek his forgiveness, because the offense is great and this is a grave 
abominable act. He must also, in addition to repentance and seeking forgiveness, make up for the days he did not fast after Ramadan. In this case, it is a necessity to make up for the days immediately after Ramadan, according to the most correct opinion of the scholars, because he did not have a license to break his fast in the first place, and he should have fasted the days in its correct time. If he or she broke his fast for a legitimate excuse, such as for the reason of menstruation, hayb, and postnatal bleeding, nifas, for females, or illness, or travel, or other excuses for which it is permissible to break the fast, then he must make up for the days, unless he is incapable of fasting. Moreover, it is not obligatory to fast these days immediately. Rather, he has been given the chance to observe fast over the entire follow-up year, up until the next Ramadan. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, in a hadith said, I was not able to make up for the missed days of Ramadan except in Sha'ban, meaning the last month before the next Ramadan, due to being busy serving the Prophet. However, it is highly recommended and preferred to make up for the missed days quickly, since by doing so one is discharging himself from that debt, as it is also safer for the person, for something might unexpectedly happen, such as illness and the like and that would prevent him from fasting. If he delays making up for the days until the next Ramadan and he has an excuse to delay it, and if the same excuse is still present, then he must make up for the days after the next Ramadan. If however, he delays making up for the days until the next Ramadan without an excuse, according to the majority of scholars, together with making up for the days, he is obliged to feed one poor person for each day, half a sa', approximately one and a half kilograms of the food staple of the country. The Hanafis and Zahiris, however, are of the opinion that he does not have to feed a poor person. When making up the mistakes, it is not required that it be done consecutively. He can either make up the days by fasting on consecutive or separate days. Both are correct. Allah Almighty says, But if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number of days should be made up from other days. Allah, glorified be He, does not stipulate that these days of fasting be consecutive. If it was a condition, Allah Almighty would have made it clear. If a person has to make up for missed days of Ramadan, he should begin with this before performing his voluntary fasts. Because obligatory fasts, are of a greater importance. It is however permissible to fast voluntary fasts before making up for the obligatory days of Ramadan, especially in cases where the voluntary fasts are of days that a person is keen not to miss due to their virtue, such as the 10th of Muharram, or the day of Arafah, or fasting the six days of Shawwal, etc. Since the chance for making up for the days of Ramadan extends until before the following Ramadan, yet it is better to make up the days that he did not fast in Ramadan as soon as possible. Whoever delays making up for the days of Ramadan until he dies for a valid excuse, there is no sin against him, because he did not leave the fasting intentionally. If however there is no excuse, he should feed one poor person for every day of Ramadan he did not fast. However, if the fast is a nether, which is a vowing to fast for Allah if something happens, then his inheritor must fast this on his behalf. Some scholars are of the opinion that if a person dies and he still has days from Ramadan to make up, his inheritor should fast on his behalf whether it was an obligatory fasting of Ramadan or a nether fasting and the like. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated that the Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, Whoever dies, and he ought to have observed the fast or psalm, then his wali or inheritor must observe the fast on his behalf. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him said, A man came to the Prophet and said, O Allah's Messenger, my mother died, and she ought to have observed 
the psalm or fast for one month for her missed days of Ramadan. Shall I observe fast on her behalf? The Prophet replied in the affirmative and said, Allah's debts have more of a right to be paid.